Hey everybody, this is real me standing up, coming from a new location, nah, but um, it's so pretty outside so I thought I would um, sit by my bay window and gaze out on my front lawn. <laughs> Seriously, I thought I would do that. Um, I'm thinking about going for a walk later, but I just wanted to come on and do my weekly update. I'm supposed to do my weekly updates on Monday because that's, that's the day I weigh. Um, myself, but, um, yeah, I'm weighing every morning. <laughs> I told you guys that I was going to get obsessive about this scale, and I am. So, this first part of my video is going to be dedicated to non-scale victories, um, because I'm becoming very obsessed. Because I'm losing slow, um, I'm just a slow loser. I had gastro bypass. August 17th, 2009, um, I'm seven months out, and I've lost a total of 70 pounds. Uh, the biggest number I've lost in a week's time has been five pounds. Every other week is two pounds, two or three pounds. And this past week, I lost one pound. Um, so I am currently 190 pounds. I started at 260. For those of you um, who um, are not familiar with my videos, I'm trying to find this piece of hair that's sticking out. <laughs> um, so anyway, so my non-scale victory would be my wedding finger. My wedding ring finger. I haven't worn it in a few months. I haven't worn a ring because um, it's slipping off. It's too big. I haven't gotten a guard or anything for my rings. I'm just, uh, you know. But before I wasn't wearing them because they were too small. Now they're too big. So my husband and I have been talking about getting um, new sets anyway. Uh, we'll be married 16 years in June. So we were going to do it the 15th year but didn't. Um, so this year we may get new rings. So I think I'm just waiting on that. <laughs> so that's one of my non-scale victories. Another is my husband and I went walking um, the other day. Well, last Saturday we went to the park, the whole family. And this particular part, the track is like 1.5 miles um, one, one time around. And we went around twice, the whole family. And I was leading the pack. I mean, I was leaving them behind me. Yeah. That felt good. That felt like, okay, y'all are slowing me down. Come on, let's go. <laughs> and then I jogged, you know, a couple of meters. <laughs> it wasn't a long jog, but you know how sometimes you walk so fast until you start, you know, trotting and then jogging. I started doing that. And so once I started jogging, I just kept jogging for a while. Um, so my question to some of you guys who started running, what, um, what clothing do you wear to kind of hold things in place and hold things down? Because I think I would have went farther. Um, if everything wasn't bouncing all over the place. You know, my girls. So, I need a good sport bra. I need a good, um, bottom deal. I don't know. I don't know what to get. So, leave a comment on this video if you know. Okay. Off of the non-scale victories. Um, well, there is one more. And it's more of a, um, hold on, hold on one second. Sorry. Um, this is more of a observation than a, a victory or anything like that. But my thing is, um, 
there there are a new set of women that I'm I'm hanging around lately um, uh, because we're in a new ministry now. And on the on the onset, I kind of alluded to the fact that I had surgery, meaning, um, well, I you know I'll say something like, well, you know, I had a little surgery that's altered my stomach capacity. You know, you can figure that out, right? And I don't know if it just went over their heads or what. And this was why we were at the table eating. You know, because at this time, I've eaten a few bites and I'm like, I'm finished and just kind of talk and wait on them to finish eating. And so a couple of weeks later, we had another function and I had to kind of allude to it again, you know. Still went over their head. It wasn't until with one lady that I had I showed her my comparison picture and it's the one that's in the link my uh, obesity help link here in the description. It's the or over here wherever it is. Um, until I actually pulled that up on my iPhone and showed her comparison from August to October to March, she was like, "What?" That was you? I'm like, I, I've told y'all several times that I've had surgery. And then last Saturday, we were speaking about it again because we were at Ryan's. Oh, everybody wanted to go to Ryan's, so I had to go. And I was like, I'm not paying $9 to not eat. So um, I said, I wonder if I could show my card. And I was riding with a lady. So I kind of mentioned it while we were talking, you know, talking about rice I said I wonder if I can show my car so I could get a child's uh, price and she was like um, I see now it's going to be a part two but oh well um, she was like um, she just kind of brushed it off and so when I got there and, and I didn't have the car I left it home but the lady went ahead and did it anyway then she said um, when we sat down and everything she was like you have a car like from your doctor or something I'm like Excuse me. I was like, yeah. And she was like, what? Did you have surgery or something? I'm like, I told you. I've had gastric. Her husband had a real bad diabetic scare. Um, and I kind of let them know that I was, uh, I had diabetic tendencies. And that led me to really get serious about my, my health and, and led me to go and get surgery. I guess I went over their head too. I'm like, what do I have to tell people? So it wasn't until I showed her the picture on my iPhone that it kind of clicked. And she was like, oh. And so we were at church the next day. And, you know, I kind of like stepped on the platform. And, and then she was motioning something to me. I'm like, what are you, huh? And then she was like, and so when I went down to see what she was talking about, she was like, I can't, I just can't get out of my head those three pictures that you showed me. And so I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, but that was one of my non-scale victories. And I know I'm rambling. I'm going on long about this. But it's, it's something I have to keep reminding myself at this stage because um, I'm getting used to this size. Because I'm not drastically going down. I haven't, I haven't moved past the size 14 here in the last two months that I'm starting to um, get used to this size. So I have to kind of remind myself where I came from. So with that said, um, please go to part two because I have a little bit more to talk about. So stay tuned.